how bad uh, in, is moderate alcohol consumption in your diet and your life and your longevity? Oh, that is a great question. You know, everyone agrees that heavy drinking, drinking during pregnancy, and binge drinking, bad ideas. But there has been this controversy about moderate drinking. Those who tend to live the longest are not the abstainers who drink zero alcohol, but um, those then buy a few drinks a week. Unfortunately, this appears to be an artifact of what's called the sick quitter effect, which arises from the systematic misclassification of former drinkers as if they were lifelong abstainers. So basically, the same reason you can find studies with higher mortality rates of those who quit smoking compared to those who continue to smoke. You say, wait a second, how's that making any sense? Well, it's not that abstention led to poor health, but poor health led to abstention. Why do people quit smoking? Oh my God, they just got diagnosed with some horrible thing. And so you can find higher um, late rates of liver cirrhosis in non-drinkers in these studies. Why? Because th why are they drinking? They'd love to be drinking, but they got liver like dying from liver cirrhosis. Okay. So if you go back and correct for that, if you correct and you just look at drinkers versus lifelong abstainers, right? Not people who quit because they got sick, then indeed um, uh, there's no benefit anymore to, to moderate levels or light level like drinking. And so according to the Global Burning Disease Study, the World Health Organization and the World Heart Federation, the safest level of drinking is none, unfortunately because alcohol is a carcinogen, turns something called acetaldehyde in the body, which is carcinogenic. And so, you know, uh, you know, grapes, barley, potatoes, best eaten, they're non-distilled form. Johnny Walker, no substitute for actual walking.